look, let's be clear, it's not Rupert Murdoch that's closed this piece, paper. It's decent families up and down the country who've showed outrage at the revelations that have bombarded this company all week when you're losing tens of millions of pounds in advertising because companies are too embarrassed to put, you, put their wares in the paper then it's really inevitable that that would happen. This is a victory for decent people up and down the land and I say good riddance to the news of the world. So the responsible decision you think? I think they were forced into this decision by absolute fury from parents up and down the land. Now let's be clear about this. This paper is closed, but the hacking saga has not. There are still people who did the most egregious invasions of privacy to people suffering ma massive amounts of grief, and they need to be brought to book. The issue for me today is not whether Rupert Murdoch closes a paper that was going to go bankrupt because there are no advertisers or readers left. It's whether Rebecca Brooks is going to consider a position and resign as chief executive of News International. I think the, own, the anger will only subside when a very senior executive in this company takes responsibility for this heinous attack on British people. So you'll only be satisfied once we see a, a resignation, two resignations. When will you be satisfied that this has been dealt with? There are only two people in the country left who are supporting Rebecca Brooks today, Rupert Murdoch and David Cameron. I'm surprised she even bothered turning up to work this morning. As far as the news of the world is concerned, the allegations surrounding the paper are historic. Uh, there's a sense from the current editor that the culture has changed. They're cooperating, of course, uh, with police to try to help uh, their investigations. Uh, is the closure of a paper an extreme measure, given the number of job losses, given the history that this paper has? Look, no one was going to buy this paper anymore. No one was going to advertise in it. They destroyed it. The people who were hacking phones of the families of Millie Dowlett, they're the people that have, closed it, that have destroyed this paper. I feel very sorry for honest journalists left at the paper. And I actually have a degree of sympathy for the outgoing editor, Colin Myler, who I think, frankly, has had to carry a heavy load for the wrongdoing of other people in the organisation.